Hey, y'all. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is funny, but it's not funny. And to the person that was calling me an e-beggar earlier today, I just can't think of anything G-rated that I can say. Oh, y'all. Okay, I'm going to try to straighten up and make this video. I have a really cute little video, y'all, of um, somebody. But uh, this one, I think, kind of trumps it. Now, before I get on the road in the morning or the afternoon or whatever, when I first start driving for the day, I always say a prayer that there's something on my... I always say a prayer, and usually it goes something like this. Lord, please let me be a good driver today. Let me pay attention. And Lord, please do not let me cause any accidents or hurt anybody. So that's how I start out my driving day. So today, I said my little prayer. I was getting on the road to drive to my um, doctor's appointment. And um, so I added a little something to it. And I said, Lord, if anything big is going to happen to Tank, please let it happen before I leave on my trip. So I just went on about my business and... You know, I'm thinking, whoa, tank's running pretty good today. I was on the freeway. I was doing like almost 65 miles an hour. And um, we do a lot of just local driving, y'all. So I'm not on the freeway a whole lot. But anyway, um, I came over to Mary Jo's and I parked. And she wanted to go get a bite to eat. And then she had a doctor's appointment. So we always take her car. So um, we went and did our thing. And um, we're driving back towards her house. And Tank is parked on the curb over here. So I'm driving this way. And she said, Deb, what is that hanging down underneath your van? So I looked, and I'm like, well, I don't know. It looks like fluid might be just running out of him. <laughs> so, any, I don't know why I'm laughing, but um, we parked over by her house, and we both jumped out of her car, and we ran over here to see what was up with Tank. Well, y'all know that I have complained about his muffler many times and um, was not e-begging, you know. It's just part of my daily life. The things that happened to me happened to me, just like they happened to everybody else. So we got over here and squatted down and we're looking underneath tank. Well, I don't know exactly if it's the muffler that's hanging down on the ground. <laughs> A little hysterical laughter going on here, y'all. But, okay, if this is the back end of tank, underneath there's pipes that run, and they bend a little bit, and then they run, and they attach to this thing that's, it looks like that. It's kind of a longer thing, but it sits like this, and it's oval, kind of at both ends and it's not very fat it's just this big thing and then that connects to this other thing well that long kind of oval looking thing that is attached to the tailpipes is still attached to the tailpipes and the tailpipes are still um connected to the bottom of tank but that oval part is disconnected completely 
from this other connection up here. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell y'all something. It's not a good thing, really, but because of you all and your wonderful I am not going to cry, y'all. I am sick of being a crybaby. But because of you all, I will be able to get that problem fixed. Now, I know everybody is not a Christian or everybody. I don't know. But I'm telling you, for me, that was an answer to my prayer. And... Because can you imagine what it would have been like to be on Highway 5 or Highway 395, whichever route I decide I'm going to take, um, and have this happen? I mean, whoa, that would have been awful. I would have been off somewhere where I don't know anybody. Uh, it would have been it would have been uh, pretty stressful. But as it is, um, I do know a mechanic here now, and um, he's a good, reliable guy that Mary Jo hooked me up with. One of the gentlemen in their Bible study, in her Bible study, works for this mechanic. So I feel pretty... In fact, today, I had just made Tank... Uh, checkup appointment and I wanted him to check my radiator and make sure that that's in good working order and it didn't need anything done to it so I made that appointment with Art for Tuesday and then today I get home and whatever that please don't let that be the catalytic converter those are you don't even want to say that word but anyway, I don't know what that part is called, but um, tomorrow uh, I called, uh, Art gave me an, oh, I can't talk y'all. Art gave me a referral to a guy that he refers all his muffler work to. Um, it's called Richard's Performance Muffler. So because I do have good roadside assistance and everything, I will be able to have Tank towed over there tomorrow morning and let Travis or Richard take a look and tell me what I am going to have to do. Now, I knew that that oblong piece connected to the tailpipes, I knew that there was a crack between the connection in the oblong part to that other part. So, y'all, I guess... Tank's going to get his muffler fixed. <laughs> that was not high on my list of priorities, y'all. But I just, I wanted to share this with you guys. One, to let you know how extraordinarily grateful that I am to you all for my um, emergency money, my fund. I am so grateful, y'all. You have no idea. And I am very grateful to God that he's made your hearts so generous. Okay, I'm getting a hold of myself. No crying. And I'm thankful to him that he answered my prayer that, you know, if something was going to go wrong, let's have it go wrong now. I might find out I need a new a uh, radiator for Pete's sakes, but better to know that now, even if I had to delay my trip, it's better to know that now than to get out on a long stretch of freeway and have your vehicle overheat. That would also suck. But y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your kindness. And that's where exactly where your gifts have gone uh, to my emergency fund and to many homeless people. 
and um, I appreciate it so much. I just can't tell you. So anyway, I will let you know <laughs> what Tank's diagnoses are and um, what I'm going to have to do to get him, like, really roadworthy. And, uh, gosh, y'all, do something fun today. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.